back. Make your fitness go farther this summer by stretching first. Joining us today is Laura Williams, who has a master's degree in exercise and sports science to help demonstrate some helpful techniques to get you started. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So talk about why stretching, first of all, is so important. Well, it's one of the five components of fitness, flexibility. So it's mm -hmm. really important. Most people, they want to get to the gym, they want to do their cardio, they want to work out. Get and in and they, out. Exactly. And yeah. they're like, stretching, I don't have time for it, right? Right. So that's bad. Right. <laughs> so you, that's the, the yeah. basis of it. it yeah, that's bad. it's bad. Well, especially as we get older and our range of motion decreases, you know, you see a lot of older people, they have a hard time moving around sure. and flexibility and stretching is what's going to keep you on top of your game right. now and into the future. It also helps prevent injuries. I mean, there are a million reasons why stretching should really be a big component of your workout program. Okay. So you brought some stuff here with you. I did. Um, I did. To show us a, a, a few techniques. Yeah. So what I brought with me is actually foam rollers and so foam rollers can be used and I've got a couple of them I chose to bring some portable ones that you can throw in a bag or um, yeah. keep with you at home sure but uh, what what you can do is you can use them for stretching but you can also use them for a form of kind of sports massage so myofascial release and if you're using them before your workout you can actually increase blood flow to the muscles that you'll actually be using during your workout which means that you can essentially use this as part of your warm-up part of your stretching routine and kind of combine everything into one thing. So, so you're kind of you're kind of breaking up the muscle fibers before absolutely. is this before or after? Either way, you can Either. do it both. If you're doing it before, you can use it as part of your warm-up routine. Okay. So you can kind of you know, walking on a treadmill, it gets the blood flowing to your muscles. Right. This can get your blood flowing to your muscles as well. Uh -huh. It's just also going to allow you to um, start your workout faster. Yeah. So really target the muscles that you plan on using during your workout. Okay, routine. so give us an example of what you would do with the foam roller. Okay, let's say you're a runner. Uh -huh. A lot of runners, they have issues with their calves. Uh -huh. So for instance, you can target your soleus, which is the long muscle group of your calf. Okay. Set your foam so roller right under your soleus uh -huh. muscle kind of lift yourself up off the ground and you can just flex and extend okay five times mm -hmm. and you're really targeting that muscle okay and then after you've flexed and extended you can rotate your foot back and forth and the idea is to just use your body weight and gravity to kind of apply the pressure yes and work those out right yeah. okay yeah. and then if you wanted to use it for stretching for instance a lot of people because we sit all day mm -hmm. we end up with really tight hip flexors right and so you can actually get down on the ground and extend the um, angle uh -huh. that you're targeting your hip flexor. So if I'm pushing forward to stretch out my hip flexor, I get a greater angle sure. by using the foam roller. Than just on the floor. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, again, oh. check out your website, girlsgonesporty.com. Yes, absolutely. All right. Thank you, Laura Williams, for being with us today. Thank you for having me.